TV. Back with your girl, Antoinette Marie. And you guessed it, today's going to be a hair video from start to finish from my hair process. Um, I've actually been in the pool quite a couple days. I mean, a couple days. So I just want to really wash my hair and get some of the chlorine out of it. So without further ado, I'm going to just jump into the video. And because I... Um, have been losing my edges as you can see here oh my god it's grown back so much since i have lost some of my edges like post um um i want to call it post stress shedding because when i stress out i start to shed on my hair so i'm just gonna get a cutting board and a knife because this is how i start my shed relief i just go ahead and do the whole aloe vera as you can see i'm just gonna take the aloe vera plant and i'm gonna cut a piece off i'm gonna put this aloe vera plant back into my refrigerator filled up so nicely and tight and I'm just going to take off the outer layer and expose the gel as you are going to see in a second and then I'm going to take you to my bathroom where I will be washing my hair so I'm going to show you Everybody know how to expose the gel on a plant, but because I'm doing a whole video, I'm just going to show everything in detail on how I am doing it. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the edges off. This is my aloe vera. Boom. Other side is the exposed gel. So I'm about to get ready to go and prep my hair for the shower. Okay, so this is a weird angle in my bathroom. I'm surprised I can even get my camera in this angle. But anyways... What I'm going to do is I brought my aloe vera plant up in a bag for transportation. So I'm going to sit that here. And what I do is I just take the comb through my hair. As everybody know, a couple weeks ago, I transitioned from being natural and I did it. I put the creamy crack back in my hair because I just could not deal with the natural hair. And everything that I decided to determine whether I would be natural, the answer was yes. So I just went ahead. I did it. I went ahead and did it. So I'm just going to comb out my hair. And how I do this process is I just take a water bottle. And I get my hair wet, wet it up really well. I don't drench it in water. I just make sure it's well saturated. As you can see, it's not, it's damp, but it's not soaking wet. So after I use this, I only use this when I do not use aloe vera. But because I'm trying to maintain these edges and keep some edges on my head, I'm going to use that. So.
um, I don't know how to pronounce it, but I'm going to say Apothecary. And this is a ginger and shea butter and lemon balm shampoo. Okay, just to get a little bit of help with it, <laughs> I'll go through it with a comb. Okay. Got a little shedding here. I'm going to blow dry my hair. So what I normally do is take a heat protectant and I'm using the Cantu Shea Butter one. 
I'm just gonna mix my hair. I just take a comb to comb through so it hits all the strands, of course. I use just a regular fecula blow dryer. I'm gonna speed this up so you don't have to even hear the blow dryer. It is the 2000 Ceramic Iconic Red by Kiss. And I just put it on Thank you. 
guys. So because I have to run to the store and get a couple things for dinner tonight, I am just gonna have, I just had to throw my hair up in a ponytail and I'm just gonna take it, get some looks on my edges. This is the product I'm gonna use. It's who made this? Nobles. It's a edge wax. What it looks like. So I'm just gonna take a little edge wax on my hand, put it on these edges on both sides. Um, take a little edge brush and just um, sleek them up a little, just to give it a little bit of definition to this plain ponytail. You hear me? When you got a plain ponytail like this, you just need to throw something around it to give it a little better look. Um, again, with the wax, just give it a little sleek edge look. Okay. And I'm gonna pull this look up. And this is how I'm pulling this look together. Nothing major, nothing even looking cute, but this is like, this is it. And I'll show you just a little quick back. This is it. So this is the ending of my hair routine of how I do my hair from start to finish on my wash day. Um, so if you're not already subscribed to your girl's channel, why don't you go ahead and hit that um, subscribe button down below and the notification bell to be notified when I drop another video. And without further ado, thanks YouTube for watching. Um, like, comment, share. Thanks for watching.